guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Friday Faves and this week I do not have any nays. But before we jump into that, I wanted to first explain why there wasn't a Friday Faves video last Friday and that was because I had a whole entire MacBook meltdown again. Um, my MacBook had to be repaired. If you guys don't see me on Instagram or Twitter, definitely go check me out on Snapchat. Follow me there. I am always on Snapchat. I am so addicted to Snapchat. I always need to check it out or I'm always snapping something. So yeah, go follow me on there. So because I didn't have a Friday Faves video last week, I do have a lot of things I wanted to share with you guys this week. Things I have been loving for the past two weeks and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So for my first day of the week, it's going to have to go to a new moisturizer with SPF and I am such a huge advocate kit with a moisturizer containing SPF or just foundations with SPF, BB cream or a tinted moisturizer with SPF. I am a sun worshiper. I love the sun. However, I don't want to damage my skin, right? Decide to try out this new moisturizer from the brand Tarte. It's called the Tarte. Tarte Guard with SPF 30. Save 1.7 fluid ounces of product. It has a pump. It has a white type of lotion um, consistency to it. It also does have a very, very light fragrance. However, the thing I really, really enjoy about this product absorbs quickly into the skin. It's very lightweight and I have really oily skin. It didn't make me oily or greasy at the end of the day. It is a little bit on the pricier side, more than what I normally would spend for a moisturizer containing SPF. I usually just buy something that's um, drugstore. However, I am really, really pleased with this product, so it is definitely one of my yays for the week, which I kind of didn't want to talk about until I really tested it out. And I'm gonna say I really, really am loving it. It is by the brand It Cosmetics, and this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. It's a color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum. It also contains SPF 50, and this is in the shade Medium. Now the first couple times I tried out this product, to be honest with you guys, I really, really did not like it. I also had a really bad reaction, which I thought it was this, so I was really scared to give this another try. However, I have been trying it out again the past two weeks. I'm gonna say I really, really do love it. The only thing that I'm not really loving about this is the fact that the shade medium is a little bit too light for me. So I actually have to go over it with a um, a darker powder. This one uh, from Cover Effects, The Cover FX uh, Matte Setting Powder in the shade medium. Just to kind of make it match my skin tone a lot better. Just evens out the skin tone. It looks really, really nice on the skin. Very natural looking, but it still just covers up everything that I want to be covered up. And it doesn't make me greasy or oily at the end of the day. Definitely say I'm pretty much covered with SPF. That's SPF 80 like total. So um, yeah, I think you guys can tell I'm like really obsessed with the whole uh, SPF on the face. You know, I am a huge advocate of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I think I'm in the shade a Dark Brown, which I have a whole review on this and a demo using the Dip Brow Pomade. And in that video, I think I said I would not be switching brow products for a very, very long time. Well, I'm going to tell you I found a product that I was really surprised about. I think I'm going to have to actually return my new Dip Brow Pomade because I've been really enjoying this one. It's from the brand Kaylin. This is called the Gel Luxe Eyebrow. This is supposed to be waterproof plus long lasting and it also has a built in brush. First introduced to the brand Kaylin through Ipsy and I received one of their eyeliners which I really really liked however it just uh, dried out on me so this looks exactly like one of their eyeliners so this actually has a built-in brush which is right here and the brush I'm gonna say I'm I really do like the brush and this is the only thing I've been using to kind of fill in my brows and then here is the product itself I like to kind of use the spoolie to kind of fade in my inner brow to kind of fade it out and then let it gradually get darker. That's just how I like to do my brows. So the only, that's the only downfall I'm gonna have to say about this is that it doesn't have a spoolie and to also kind of comb out whatever brow hairs I have. But I really, really do like the formula of this uh, product. It doesn't slide around on me. It's very easy to work with. It's actually a lot, it's, the consistency of this is a little bit drier than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, which I do like. It's easy to work with and it really lasts the whole entire day. I barely have any hair on my eyebrows, so it's literally like I have to really 
draw them in and this thing it is $22 which is a little bit pricey I think it's almost around the same price as the dip brow well I think this is actually a little bit more expensive for me to actually like another eyebrow product besides the dip brow is something to say because I have been an advocate for that dip brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills so I've been really enjoying this the Mary Luminizer from the bomb cosmetics and unfortunately mine is pretty much ooh, mine is pretty broken right now but I really have been enjoying this for the inner eye corners and I love the effect of this it's a beautiful beautiful like champagne color it looks really gorgeous especially on the cheekbones the brush I love to use with the Mary Luminizer right on the inner eye corners I've been using this one from the brand Sigma this is the Sigma blending E36 brush which I think is like perfect to use right on the inner eye corners because it distributes the right amount of product right Right into that small area. I did a whole review on uh, the City Color Cosmetics highlighting wands which I'm gonna link down below and the one which I'm wearing today is this one called Blush Wine. Enjoying these highlighting wands. They are so beautiful. Just literally melt right onto the skin. They're very blendable. They are very affordable and also cruelty free products. I'm really enjoying this one from the brand Physicians Formula and this is the Physicians Formula um, Argon Wear Ultra Moisturizing Argon Oil Bronzer and the shade of this is just called Bronzer I believe. When I first opened this I was not a fan of the scent because it does have a very peculiar scent to it which I wasn't a fan of. However I really do like the way how this bronzes up my face because it doesn't have like an orangey tint to it. I think it actually looks actually it looks very natural just kind of gives me a bit of like that sun-kissed glow but it doesn't make me look orangey and uh, I've been really enjoying this I've just been using it to kind of like bronze up the sides of my face and just bring some nice warmth to my face and lip combo of the week is gonna have to go to the one which I'm wearing today I've been wearing it in a couple of my videos so first what I'll do is I'll use this lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics this one is called Fairy Godmother and this one is no joke like a really beautiful um, I want to say it's kind of like a bubblegum pink and it does have a bit of a blue undertone to it which is great to help make your teeth appear wider but what I like to do is I'll take this lip gloss or butter lip gloss from NYX Cosmetics in the color meringue I really love this combination together because I think it kind of just tones down fairy godmother just a tinge it just gives it like a hint of shine but it still has that pink with a blue undertone to it because meringue does have a bit of like that bluish undertone to it which I really really love. I'm a fan of that, of those types of shades. Which I was also really skeptical about but I've been trying it out. I've had my family, um, my husband also try this out and they are these things which I'm going to show you right now. They look a little bit weird because we've been using them but these are by the brand Dewpuff. These are called the Dewpuff sponges. They're made from the roots of a konjac. It's a plant native to Asia. Konjac has long been regarded for its health and medical properties and is known in Japan for delicate skin care. I have three different kinds. This one is the original. It's for the purest, clean, gentle enough for baby skin. I've been using this one because I have, I do have sensitive skin. The Asian clay, it removes impurities for a healthy glow, which I like to use. All on my legs, on my arms, uh, I like to use this with uh, a shower gel with some sort of exfoliating beads. And the last one I have here, which I have my husband use, this one is called the Bamboo Charcoal. It has natural antioxidants for blemish prone skin. If you guys can see, it's, it's a sponge, right? I thought it would be very abrasive on the skin. However, what you're supposed to do is, is you just let this run under the water so it soaks in the water and it gets very soft. So when you say, when you use this one on your skin, it is very, very gentle. It um, actually doesn't even feel like it's a sponge. It just kind of glides on your skin. It says it cleans without drying. It leaves your skin feeling refreshing and looking smooth and radiant, gentle enough for any type of skin, even for a baby, which I'm gonna have to say, it is very, very gentle. And I've been really, really enjoying this. I think that is everything I wanted to share with you guys for my Friday Faves video. I am trying to hurry this video up because I can see the red light flashing on my camera. But before I let you guys go, I do have a really 
quick giveaway for you guys and it is with these dupe puff sponges one of you guys will win this trio set i'm going to list the rules how you can enter in the down bar below make sure you guys go check that out before entering the giveaway so i hope you guys enjoyed my friday faves video no nays this week which i'm really happy about um, I hope you guys don't mind that this video is going up a bit late. I really, really wanted to film this for you guys um, because I just had so many items which I've been really, really enjoying this week. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a really awesome weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TwilightChick143. Thank you so much for all of your support, for all of your positive feedback, you guys have seriously been the best to me. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. And have a wonderful weekend. Bye guys.